It's May, which going off of previous years, Black Ops 4 being an exception, this month has been notorious for being the time in which we get our biggest leaks regarding the upcoming Call of Duty game and also the eventual reveal prior to E3, which normally goes on in the middle of June. However, here we are, approaching the middle of May, and we have yet to see a direct confirmation confirming what exactly Call of Duty 2019 will be. But boy oh boy have we had our fair share of leaks. Modern Warfare 2 Remastered, Modern Warfare 3 Remastered, athletes saying the game feels like the old Modern Warfare games. All of this and then some has all been leaked in the previous days, weeks, and months, but despite all of that, we're still not 100% sure if Modern Warfare 4 is going to be Call of Duty 2019. However, as of earlier this week, we got two very substantial pieces of information that actually propose Modern Warfare 4 will undoubtedly be our next game in the Call of Duty franchise. What's up guys, Zach or Immortal here, welcome back to the channel and thanks for stopping by. If you are new here and you're looking to stay up to date with everything Call of Duty related, well, I gotta say, you're in the right place. Every single day we are covering the latest Call of Duty news, leaks, updates, and more, and if you are into that kind of stuff, definitely consider hitting that sub button and turning on your post notifications, that way you'll always know when a new video goes live. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, let me know by dropping a like rating on it as it would be much appreciated. And now, let's get into our latest batch of Modern Warfare 4 leaks, and my friends, let me tell you, these leaks are a doozy. Let's start off with what is by far one of the most interesting quote-unquote leaks to date, as it stems from a former Infinity Ward employee and someone who is actually heavily involved in the Modern Warfare franchise. And that is none other than Robert Bowling, who quite a few of you probably know as the Last Stand guy. You last stand. Anyways, Robert Bowling used to be the creative strategist for Infinity Ward up until 2012 when he left the company to pursue other endeavors. Now, according to his Twitter bio, he is a creative consultant at EA, which makes the fact that these knowledge bombs are coming from him incredibly odd, seeing as he's currently employed by one of Call of Duty's biggest competitors in the development scene. Nonetheless though, in the middle of the night the other night, Robert Bowling hopped on Twitter and tweeted a very peculiar series of tweets, kicking off with this one, featuring a clip of Operation Kingfish from Modern Warfare 3, in which the date of this operation was October 8th, 2013. The caption of this tweet says, I will let you down, I will make you hurt, alongside the date October 8th, 2019. Now, when you look ahead on a calendar, you'll see that October 8th of this year falls on a Tuesday, which is notorious for being the dedicated Call of Duty day, aside from Friday, which has also seen the launch of a few Call of Duty titles in recent years. So, perhaps, is something happening on October 8th of 2019 related to Modern Warfare 4? We'll actually discuss this more as the video goes on, but on top of that and all the info that this tweet already shells out, the video that's playing in the tweet is slowly zooming in on Ghost, which will be important here as well as we continue on. So, that was the first tweet that Last Stand Man tweeted out. The second reads, You are someone else, I am still right here. And this tweet also features a video showcasing, spoiler alert, Ghost's death in the Loose Ends mission in Modern Warfare 2. Now, there isn't anything too crazy about this tweet in specific, but yet again, it is a big reference to Ghost. Then, Robert's third and final tweet of the night reads, Me at 10pm, I should get some sleep. Me at 2am, and here we see a picture of Robert wearing a Modern Warfare 3 shirt, except the 3 in MW3 is missing. And Ragefest noticed and asked, where's the 3 at, Robert? To which Last Stand Man replied, I don't know, it was there, B4. 4, spelled like the number 4, obviously in reference to Modern Warfare 4. But while that was Robert Bowling's last cryptic tweet for that Twitter session, later on in the day, he also tweeted out one more image that is actually a selfie with none other than Ghost in the background. So clearly, Robert has some sort of fascination with Simon Ghost Riley, which could mean a couple of different things. Firstly, Ghost might actually be returning in our next Call of Duty title, either miraculously alive or through some sort of prequel version of his story in specific. Or secondly, this could also be a very subtle tease towards Call of Duty 2019 actually being Ghosts 2, 
but I'm way more so inclined to believe the former, as MW4 is all but officially confirmed at this point, especially going off of Robert's other various tweets as well. But once again, I do want to reiterate how truly odd this scenario is, where a consultant for EA is directly teasing and hinting at an upcoming Activision game. Either Robert Bowling is trying his absolute best to be the world's greatest Twitter troll, or he's got some insider information that has him all too excited for our next installments in the Call of Duty franchise. As for leaks though, things do not stop there. And while this next leak might not be directly related to Robert Bowling, it is equally as peculiar as the information it reveals is pretty significant. A user by the name of X Bells ended up posting this image on Twitter and Reddit yesterday, which shows a GameStop system revealing that the company's stores will be receiving some employee t-shirts related to the COD reveal by June 4th of 2019, meaning a reveal for Call of Duty 2019 is presumably going to happen by June 4th. And things actually get even more interesting as x -Bells ended up posting another picture with even more COD Reveal t-shirts on order. Here you can see all the various sizes for the shirts, but what is really odd is that some of these shirts actually have varying arrival dates. Some of them have that June 4th date like I just mentioned, and others say May 28th is when they're estimated to arrive which would then mean our COD 2019 reveal would have to be before or on May 28th, which once again just so happens to be a Tuesday. And honestly, based off of this information alone, I think it is a safe bet when I say if these images are in fact real, the Call of Duty 2019 reveal or announcement will indeed be coming this month because that date of June 4th actually clashes with what will be part 2 of Operation Spectre Rising here in Black Ops 4. As we can see on the contraband screen in the black market, we currently have 25 days left in this part of the operation, and when you count down those days on a calendar, the clock hits zero on Tuesday, June 4th. And as we've previously mentioned here on the channel, trying to cross-promote the new Call of Duty and a new operation or event in Black Ops 4 is definitely not the wisest decision from a business standpoint, leaving that date of May 28th to be ever so appealing, if you ask me. Now, circling back to that original date of October 8th that we mentioned in our first tweet from Robert Bowling, whether or not that's a launch date or simply a date regarding some major announcement, possibly a beta, we do not know as of right now. But like I mentioned earlier, unless Robert is just trying to ultimately troll every single person in the Call of Duty community, that date has to be of some significance when it comes to Call of Duty 2019 slash Modern Warfare 4. Something I also want to briefly mention as well since it appears to be relevant now, is the idea of Modern Warfare 2 Remastered and Modern Warfare 3 Remastered actually being a thing and coming out maybe on that October 8th date, about a month or so before Modern Warfare 4 would presumably release. We did of course see a similar situation with Infinite Warfare and Modern Warfare Remastered, where MWR's campaign ended up releasing earlier than the multiplayer and also Infinite Warfare as a sort of hype tactic, if you will, and I could very easily see the same situation becoming true for MW4 this year as well. And on top of that, having MW2R and MW3R just might be the connection with Ghost in all of this, since if those games were to release, obviously Ghost would then be back. In addition to that, a few of you guys might have caught my video talking about how Black Ops 4's future operations can kind of foreshadow when we could expect to see Call of Duty 2019 release. And based off the information I discussed in that video, I still do think November 1st or November 8th are two very solid guesses when it comes to the official release for COD 2019. And if you throw in Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3 Remaster releasing on October 8th, exactly one month before MW4 could release on November 8th, suddenly things line up very, very nicely if I do say so myself. And with that being said, that does effectively wrap things up for today. Definitely drop me a comment down below letting me know if you think Call of Duty 2019 is going to be Modern Warfare 4, or perhaps a different title like Ghosts 2 or even Infinite Warfare 2. Of course, if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to drop a like on it as it would be much appreciated. And as always, if you are brand new here to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest Call of Duty news and intel, feel free to hit that sub button and turn on your post notifications by clicking that bell button. That way you'll always know when I upload a new video. 
Once again, thank you guys so much for tuning in. And until next time, take it easy, have an awesome rest of your day, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.